Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and I got some interesting game engine news today. Game Maker Studio, the long running 2D game engine is now available for free. That is to say, there is now a free version available, not that Game Maker is now free. We're going to look at exactly what that means in a few minutes, but truthfully, this is something that has been so overdue. The fact that you know only had a time limited trial, before that you had nothing at all, you just had to buy it on faith, seemed a little silly. Now there is a free edition and this all kind of started when Opera bought them. Opera bought Game Maker's creator Yo-Yo Games back in January 20th and watch this video I did about it. Uh, cut to about the very end and I think I said something along the lines of mark my words there will be a free version available soon and there is. Now I'm actually a little bit wrong on this. I actually thought they would make the HTML5 export free as well seeing as uh, Opera is a web-based company and they're trying to get the whole web gaming thing going. That unfortunately didn't happen but what they have done is basically remove the limitations from their trial. So now you can basically use a fully functional asterisk version of Game Maker Studio forever. Now the big thing is you're going to lack export so you still have to buy exporters and this should have been the way it was all along if I'm honest. This seems like kind of a bit of a no-brainer decision. So we're going to go into the blog entry and then we're looking at some of the details of what has changed here. So with the limited time free trial now removed, creators have as long as they want to use Game Maker's integrated game development software to start learning how to build their own games. Only if game creators wish to export to one of many platforms supported by Game Maker will they need to purchase a license. That is, if you want to distribute your game, even you know, privately to a friend or commercially to a store, you're going to need a license. Uh, Game Maker's intuitive drag and drop system makes it easy for anyone, regardless of previous coding experience, to make their own games, while its proprietary GML enables more advanced users to develop more detailed gaming experience. Now, one of the nice things is GML uh, was missing some pretty fundamental features up until recently. It finally got things like strops. So GML got, got improved quite a bit this year. I haven't used uh, Game Maker language in a while. Uh, game creators can also access a wealth of high quality demos and tutorials for free, created specifically to introduce new users to fundamentals of game design and quickly speed up um, with the basics of Game Maker. These include the recently released, which I didn't cover in a story, uh, but it, it's a substantial enough tutorial, Little Town, uh, and other examples. Little Town is a full game made in Game Maker, all the assets you need. So it's a 305-page PDF. So if you want to get started with Game Maker, this is where you do it. 30-meg uh, download there. All of the assets you need, all the audio, all the projects, and the ex uh, exported EXE, which coincidentally you will not be able to do with the free version. So again, that is the limitation. And then we have 24 videos in the series that will walk you through creating this particular game. So if you want to get started with Game Maker Studio, uh, the Little Town example is probably your ideal route to go. So, uh, yeah, that is the news. So let's look a little bit more into detail of what that boils down to. So now you have uh, four tiers here, or not really tiers because you can... You, you can pick and choose what you want here, but you got free, you got creator, you got developer, and you've got console. Now, the cool thing here is this also is a bit of a reorg of how things used to work, and it is cheaper. Before, they used to sell it at uh, was $99 for Windows, $99 for Mac, $99 for HTML, uh, more money for iOS, more money for Android, etc. So now we've broke it down into creator. Uh, this will allow you to publish to Mac or Windows. Uh, and it's down to 30 bucks now. Developer uh, allows you to export to HTML, Windows, mobile platforms, and Xbox One for seven, from $75. Okay, so notice this is still, they're still getting you. I didn't see the from. All right, so you're looking, uh, the desktop version is pretty much unchanged. It used to be 100 bucks. It's on sale right now for $74 Canadian. And then you have to pay another for web, another for mobile, and another for UWP. And again, uh, I'll, I'll do another prediction. This one, this one will be free. This one just makes sense to be free. You're owned by a bloody web browser company now. Give away HTML5 exporting. It only makes sense. Um, and then you still make money off these other ones, and it gives the people with the free version something that they can export to and share with friends while not necessarily monetizing the product. And then finally, we get into the console licenses. You're looking 600 bucks for PlayStation, 600 bucks for Xbox, uh, 600 bucks for Switch, or $1,100 for all of the uh, Above. So if you're wondering, okay, where does the free license, what are the limitations on it? Well, the biggest limitation straight out is you can't export. So you really, it's a non-commercial license because you can't get a game out of this. Uh, it's available for Windows and Mac OS, by the way. Uh, in terms of the limitations, so a free license is designed to let you explore the IDE and learn how to use Game Maker Studio properly, uh, permitting you to make test pro uh, projects and pro prototypes as well as learn how the program works. However, whilst it gives you nearly functional version of Game Maker Studio to use. Uh, it does have the following limitation. It does not permit you to create shareable, executable copies of your game. In other words, you can't compile it down to an EXE or uh, an HTML file that you could share with someone else. 
does not permit you to test using the high performance yo-yo compiler. Um, that one seems a bit of a mistake here, but it seems like you probably can't use the yo-yo compiler without ultimately creating an executable. Uh, I would like to see them like lock the executable to your machine because you want to know what the performance of your project is going to be like. This is actually them kind of tying a hand behind their back. I'd be interested in your opinion on that one. Should they enable this or not? Because yes, theoretically, you're going to get a faster performance. Your game is going to look better and you're going to be more likely to buy their product. So that limitation seems a little weird to me. Uh, you must always be on the current last slash newest public version of GameMaker Studio in order to use your license. So you may be required to periodically update your install in order to continue using GameMaker Studio too. That's interesting. I've never actually seen that condition before. Uh, yeah, no idea why. <laughs> Actually, I, don't, I, I actually can't see the upside or the downside to that. Like, you know what? Most people stay current anyways. And if you're doing a long running, uh, you know, game that you need versioning support or whatever, you would probably have bought the developer version or the $29 version or whatever. It doesn't seem to be a huge limitation. I just, I honestly, I don't understand it. If you got an opinion on that one, let me know in the comments down below. And also you cannot create a marketplace publisher account and sell your own assets. You can use the marketplace to attain any asset tutorial and demo projects for by others. So basically, you're using this version. You cannot commercialize it. So you can't sell uh, things that you created on their asset store. You cannot create an executable and redistribute it. Uh, and then oddly enough, you can't use their high-performance compiler. Again, I think that's a bit of a mistake. And um, you have to use the newest version, uh, which is interesting. And again, if you have an opinion on that one, or if you have thought process behind that, requirement. Let me know what, what you think it is. Uh, so other than those restrictions, the free license grants you uh, act full access to GameMaker Studio 2 with no limits on how many asset, uh, assets you could create with your project. This means if you have any old 1.4 game project, you can import them into 2 and try them out. Uh, there's a guide on porting things over. Uh, important for users of the educational seat. Ah, you're not using an educational seat. Okay, so there, that is the news. So this all started in motion way back in January when Yo-Yo Games bought Game Maker. I called it, there will be a free version. In this day and age, they're competing against like uh, the Godot game engine, free. The uh, default game engine, free. G-Develop, free. And then they've got commercial competitors like Construct2 and so on out there. There is so much competition in this market space. It seems absolutely insane that they didn't have a free version already. So it's nice to see the free version out there. Uh, again, I'm going to make a bold prediction. HTML5 export will eventually become free as well. I, I just almost, it, it just doesn't make sense for it not to be. You are owned by a web browser company. It's just, it's going to happen. But this is a nice first step. I'm happy to see it. So if you're interested in checking this out, uh, it's YoYo Games. Uh, head on over to the Game Maker section and you can get now, just go get started. Uh, grab the free version here. And unfortunately, you do have to uh, sign in to register. Uh, but once you are registered, basically go on in, sign up, and you are good to go. And you can download it for Windows and Mac. Again, Little Town Assets are out there. Huge tutorial they created a couple of months back. Uh, like I said, 24 parts of video. Yeah, 24 videos, an hour, 30 minutes long. 305-page uh, PDF guide, all the assets, all the audio, all the projects, and so on. I will link that in the linked article down below. So if you want to check that one out, it will be there as well. So let me know what you think. Um, Game Maker Studio making a free edition. Uh, too little, too late. Uh, what do you think of the limitations? Um, are you happy to see this? I, I, I think this was a requirement. I think this should have been a requirement in all honesty, like when they did their free demo. It made no sense to, to not let people get as many hands on your product as possible, especially when they can't commercialize it in the first place. Now, the could, it could be very possible the Game Maker was making a ton of money off of people that, you know, were... Uh, aspiring game developers that never actually went anywhere and they're going to lose that segment now right because those people no longer have to pay money and I'm happy that's a segment that I don't want to see pay money and that is a segment that I would 100% recommend if you're just dabbling try one of the free versions so you know Yo-Yo made themselves more more um, viable by offering that free version but I'm interested in hearing what you think of this overall and I will talk to you all later goodbye